Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cisco ECC based software once the Microsoft SQL Server database has been installed. First of all, I need to make sure that the server has a CD-ROM mounted properly. So you got to go to the server Rogger A and CD-ROM and make sure you mount it to the installation of ECC based software. Now we store all our uh, ISO files under the ISO share drive and then we have a subfolder UCCE. This is where all our ISOs for UCCE is, is located. So we're going to install UCCE 11.01 and click OK. Now once that is done, you can see the CD-ROM is mapped to the Rogger A server. So you can go to the folder, ICM CCE installer, <coughs> and you can cl click on setup. If there is anything missing or prerequisite, it will tell you right here, and then you can continue fixing it until you have a proper so a server that is ready to deploy. So if I click next, it's gonna do a check to see if I'm missing something. Sometimes it could be SQL Server, could be some services not running. So, so far everything seems to be pretty good to go. So we're gonna click, now if you're doing a fresh install, you say fresh install, but if you're doing an upgrade, you will say technology upgrade, where you will have to select some uh, additional files. But we're doing a fresh install, so click next. Uh, this is if you want to do a maintenance release. Now I do have a maintenance release, let me see if I can copy that. See that, uh, I am installing 11.01 now if I have a maintenance release so for example if I go to browse and I have uploaded uh, another maintenance release file in the C temp folder <coughs> okay oh that seems to be an ISO file okay so let me extract that Okay, so I have to I have to mount it in order to be able to use this. So what I'll do is go to E Drive and select eleven point five. That'll be so it basically will up, upgrade it. So next, uh, select the location where I want to install the particular file. Uh, C Drive or D Drive is your choice, depending on how you want to install it. And if you want to hard core, uh, harden the security of the uh, SQL Server, click next and you're ready to install. So I'll let this run. So once the installation is done, you must restart the computer. So I'll go ahead and do that. I have also the Rogger B is almost done as well. PG and PGA are all in progress. So Rogger A has rebooted, so let's try to see if the installation is actually successful or not. If the installation is successful, usually what we're supposed to see on your desktop is a bunch of um, folders right there, as you can see, web setup, UCC tools and services. This is to confirm that the installation has been successful. Now another way to verify that before we move on, so as you can see right now the patch is being installed. That is the upgrade from 11.0 to 11.5. So we're going to go ahead and continue with that upgrade. Because right now the version is 11.01 is going to be upgraded to 11.5. And we do the same thing with B as well. All these servers are in progress as we speak. So I'm going to log into B, Rogger B. 
to verify the same. So Rogger A is still installing the patch. Rogger B should also have very similar items on the desktop and should start installing the patch as well. Again, after the patch has been installed, we must restart again. So right there. And the patch is going to install on B as well. So we'll uh, let it run. And uh, once it's uh, successfully running, we'll go ahead and reboot the system. All right, so the 11.5 uh, installation has been completed. I will go ahead and reboot this system and then we'll verify once we log back in. Okay, so server has rebooted. So let's go ahead and log back in. So once it, once you log in, you should see a flash page which will which will give you access to various component of ECCE. So that's a good indication that your server is being installed properly. So what I want to do is just log into the web setup just to verify if the ECCE is actually or the web setup is actually working or not. So that's one of the most important part of the configuration. I'll just minimize this part, which we will access later as well. All right, so that's a good sign, uh, sign that installation was successful, but I will not rest until I log in successfully. So Rogger B is still going on, PG is still going on, PGB, they're all in process. Okay, so I'm gonna log in as my domain account. And as you can see, this is a web setup for version 11.5.1. Okay, so that's that's perfectly fine because we have not set up any uh, domain manager yet so this is one of the pre there's a prerequisite for us to uh, configure in order for it to log into the web but that's a good indication so we are good to go uh, this is how we set up the base installation now this particular software has to be installed just like that on the PG server on uh, the UC, uh, admin server HDS server DDS server but you do not need this on CVP server or finesse server error or call manager. This is the only server that's going to host the UCC component must have the SQL server 2014 and the UCC based software. All right. So that's pretty much for this particular lab and I will see you in the next.